This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Called Who Buy My Memories, and I guess I'm about to find that out. So without any more jabberjaw, here are my songs, my stories, and my letters to America, and a few bad jokes. Dear America, this is your old friend Willie, sending a note to see how you're doing and to say I'm doing fine. I've long believed in the positive idea of being fine and being committed to a goal of always moving forward. If I'm backing up, it's just to get a running start. Those are words you can live by. But when times get tough for family and friends, and I like to think of everyone around the world as my family and friends, I sometimes look back on songs I've written that might contain some wisdom or maybe a laugh that still applies today. I once wrote a country song called Three Days about the three toughest days of heartbreak, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So I guess I'm thinking now about lessons that I learned yesterday that would apply today and tomorrow. When the going gets tough, and the tough need a little inspiration to get going, I think about another of my songs. Lord, please give me a sign, for these are difficult times. These really are difficult times. As for me, I'm getting bored to all hell sitting at home and wishing I was on the road making music with my friends. But my problems are small potatoes compared to many millions of people who don't know where their next paycheck is coming from or how they're going to feed their families. I was born during your Great Depression of the 1930s, so I had some experience with hard times. My sister Bobby and I were raised by our grandparents. After my granddaddy died, times were even tougher. For Thanksgiving dinner one year, we split a can of soup. Some may not think of those as the good old days, but my grandmother, who we called Mama, was always there for us. It took love and faith and music to carry us through. Even today, I can hear my grandmother's voice and her fingers on the piano keys as she played and sang Old Rugged Cross and Woody Guthrie's great anthem to America, This Land is Your Land. The hard times made us strong, and the good times made us stronger. Together, they made me who I am. Now here we are, America, eight decades later, and just like the old song, hard times have come again once more. Once again, we are trying to hold to each other, and hold to your great American dream for every person. We're trying to find out what unites us, to remember our shared beliefs in family, in love, and in your democratic ideals, so we can come through as a stronger America. If we don't find what unites us, we will once again be a house divided. We tried that once in the 1860s, and 600,000 Americans died fighting against each other. That should be our reminder that we need to get our shit together and remember the ways we are alike rather than focusing on the ways we're different. When our nation was mourning after 9-11, you gave me the opportunity to do my part for the live concert America, a tribute to heroes. When our nation was in mourning after 9-11, you gave me the opportunity to do my part for the live concert America, a tribute to heroes. That inspiring event had one of the largest audiences in television history. I followed a string of great artists, Bruce Springsteen, Tom Petty, Alicia Keys, and many more. Then I got to lead everyone in an inspiring rendition of your beautiful song, America the Beautiful. As we sang on stage that evening, I felt that I could hear the television audience singing too, a nationwide chorus raising our voices from sea to shining sea. To sum it all up, I'd like to amplify across America the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., Let Freedom Ring. From a hilltop in Texas, Willie Nelson. Dear Mama and Daddy, I hope you forgive me for taking so long to write. I also hope this letter finds you both in your shining city on a hill, though I suspect the heaven you found is on a prairie with a white-framed house and a porch, a guitar, and a piano. You are my grandparents, but you raised sister and me, and the names Mama and Daddy were perfect for you. Sometimes when I slow down and pay close attention, I can feel Daddy placing my hands on the frets of that first guitar he gave me when I was just six. It was only a Stella from the Sears and Roebuck catalog, but to me, it was the world. Daddy, you taught me how to play the D, A, and G chords, the building blocks of country music, and look what happened. You were a big man, and I remember your bass voice singing, Where have you been, Billy boy? I remember you working hard in your blacksmith shop. After the flu and pneumonia took you, 
Those chords and that music have never been far from my side. Neither have you. And Mama, if I close my eyes...